Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do something way different. We're gonna learn. I'm gonna show y'all how I make one of these cast nets with a chain and a bag on it instead of a uh, braille line net. We're not gonna do that. Uh, sorry, there's a mess up here. We got a new refrigerator. Somebody's supposed to be coming getting that one. But things you need way up here. We're gonna start off. I know you can't see it. It's gonna be a number 12 alt swivel. The net's actually gonna be a number three twine. And when you get down here in the chains, you're gonna tie it on with a number nine twine in your brails. Here, I'm gonna be a number nine. And your chain's gonna be a one eight. A one eight chain. It's not very big. And a couple of shuttles. And I'll show you all that here in a second. Alright, these are the two shuttles I'm gonna use. The small one to get started so I can get through the eye of the swivel and through the chain links. And then this one to sew the body of the net so that I don't have a lot of knots in my net, so that's like a 12 inch, that's a six inch. All right, trying to get the better light, that'll work. All right, got my six inch needle, my number three twine. We'll just take it, I'll just drop it on the floor, take my twine, pinch it right here against the shuttle, and just bring it up, one, two, three, and you can let go of it, see that'll hold it. Then you just come down here, flip it, go around your eyepiece, come back down to the bottom, flip it, and just repeat that process till you get enough twine on there that you're comfortable with and you're ready to start sewing. And the next step, my first three rolls, I like to run double strands. I already got this needle loaded, it's the same thing. You pull off so much, then you'll get another one and just double it up. That way, like I said, your first three rows, I, want, I like to have double. And then just transition from your net to your bag. <clears throat> I like the double too, and I'll show you that here in a second. All right, we got our swivel rigged up. Gonna start off with a double twine. Just gonna take your. This is a two inch. Ah, I can't speak this one. Divider. I'm gonna take this string, pinch it behind it. Hard. Take your swivel. Run through the eye of your swivel. Kind of hard at first, so you get a little bit of <clears throat> thread off. Right? Figure out about how long you want it. And pinch it there at the top with two fingers. We're going to do a called a slip knot. Just going to come behind these two. See how I'll throw it over. Go behind them. Then on this one, you're going to come up under your gauge. Keep your swivel going. Come back to your swivel. Same thing, you'll keep the pinch, pressure. Pull it over. You only want to get the two <clears throat> that you just did. One, three, two, three. Right, you go. Well, I'm going to repeat this process 33 times 
Try to get to the end. And then when I get there, I'll show you the next step. We got our 33 mashes, so we're going to come in here. Then we'll slip knots. So the knots going to change here. Find that other end. Right, so now we're going to do a, you call it a flying Dutchman, fly knot. We're going to take that pinky. In front of the board, around your pinky, back up on your pointer finger, flip the loop, all the way back where you started at. Go in that circle, make sure there's nothing tangled. And you're going to pull, and you'll feel that knot come up under here. When that happens, you move that pinky. that process now a whole bunch of times for the next row. The more you get the tying on it, the better it is than that drop the weight. Keep it from doing all that mess. But the next row, you know, tie up, uh, you start tying a wide end. Once you get going a little more, the more weight you get on it, the less that'll happen. Got to be like this needle here. So. You know these knots when you pull them? You don't want to pull too hard, it'll burn into your gauge or your, you get too hot and it'll break the line. And we gotta reach the trim now. But, yeah, that's it so far. We're gonna make a four foot net, two inch mass. Um, making it so the kids can uh, get out there and teach them how to throw it. But, let me read the string this and I'll get back with you. Alright, something else I like to do. See how you got the extra string where we got started? Cut it kind of short. Then I might take my lighter. Heat it up a little bit. Make your finger. That help it keep from coming untied because like I said, this is gonna be for the kids to learn on, so I'm not gonna dip this net. 
they gonna tear it up. I'm pretty sure I tore my first one off. But alright. Repeat this the whole row. You should have 11 wideners, which were 30. That's what starts making the net wider. The extra spread. So, yeah. Repeat that till we get back around. We'll keep this routine. You're so too wider, too wider, too wider. All right. I said we're going to do a four foot net. So we'll sew down two and a half foot, then we'll start we'll start the bag right there and I'll get back with you then. Alright, it's the next day. As you see, I sewed a little bit throughout the night. Let me show you how you measure it. Alright, you wanna start right here at the top of your bottom of your swivel. Your certain states, countries have different laws on your masses, so I would just check on your local area in your radiuses. But I'm at 24 inches, so it's two foot. We ain't got much more to go, and we're gonna start the bag. And something else, I'm using this plastic gauge. I don't know if it's gonna show up, but that flying Dutchman, it will dig in there. You need a good piece of metal that's got it's been rounded. A good piece of hardwood so that knot don't dig in there like that. I don't know if you can hear it. But yeah, just something I figured I'd share with you.
like just real quick we started we i done sewed the double row and see how it's doubled here instead of cutting this off and starting off with another one we're just gonna cut one i hope you can see it's just gonna cut one of these lines coming off all right so now you have to restream i mean undo all this Come on, people. See, that's together. So we find the other end. I don't know nothing about them passwords. Give me a second. Find the other end. I know the pass. I put my password in my name. All right. I put Natalie in my password. Half hitch it. Half hitch it. Which one? Key, train, train. Pick a bicycle. Alright, just start threading it back up, then we can pick up the sewing. Alright, we done took, as you can see, we cut it seven and a half. We can come back up here to the bottom of our double loop at the start of the bag. And you're just gonna put. Two slip knots. Mm -hmm. Alright, and you're gonna come straight down. Count your matches, come straight down. Mm -hmm. Come straight down. You're gonna come over three or four. Links in your chain, bring it up. So now we got enough thread off the needle, we can actually go through that link. This is where your gauge comes in. Way up. Way up. Let's go down. All right. Let's slide two. Good. Slip knots. Start your bag, then you come back up here. You count out one, two, and you hit the third one. And you really ain't got to cage that one. Now, you want to count one, two, three, four, five, six, pick up the seventh one. Check it every now and then, kind of keep it organized. One, two, same thing. I right, come up one, two, pick the third one up. Use some slack. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pick the seventh one up. We do this. Alright, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. When we come back to the end, we might not have quite seven links here. That's fine, we'll just cut the difference out. And we almost done. All right, we got the chain all sewed on. It actually worked out to be the right amount. But remember, on these nets, you measure from the bottom of the swivel all the way to the bottom of this bag. I overshot it. I had an extra roll in it, so and four foot two inches on this bag, but to finish it off. We just gotta flip it upside, flip it inside out. If we just reach up in here, come all the way up. 
grab our swivel. Just pick a, I like to go where we started at, off at. Just let it fall in. Grab it. Pick it back up. Change the net back right. That's it. A four foot cast net. You see, it's still got plenty of room to open. But, yeah, these be good throw in your truck. I keep mine in a bucket. Rinse them out after I use them. Uh, yeah, be good to keep in your truck or something. Or your uh, get home bag. But, if y'all like this and want to see more content with net making, leave a message in the comment and we'll see what we can do. Hope to catch y'all outdoors. Till next time.